morning, Progressive Union Missionary Baptist Church. We invite you into our service this morning. Wherever you are, take up your best prayer posture. Take up your best worship posture. Wherever you are, you raise your hands, you clap your hands. You can do whatever it is that you find. Because David said, I will bless the Lord at all times. And his praises shall continually be in my mouth. My soul make a boast unto the Lord. The word says that the humble they hear, that means the ones who are out there worried about tomorrow, they hear and they are, they are glad about our Savior. Oh, magnify the Lord with us this morning and let's exalt his name together. Amen.
mighty Lord of glory, you have called me friend. God Almighty, Lord of glory, you have called me friend. God Father, first I come to you and just want to say thank you for this day. So many people didn't wake up this morning, Father. Father, so many people are dealing with illness and illness and mental problems because of the situations that we're dealing with, Father. Father, let them know that there's a comfort, that you are here and you've been here and that you're never changing, Father. Father, let us know that we can come to you with any situation that is on our hearts, Father. Father, you are a healer. Father, you have been there in our times of need and our times of joy, Father. Father, I just pray that the people have the right mindset in what we're dealing with, Father. Father, we don't have to subscribe to any conspiracy theories, Father, because we know no matter what, you are the God of all. Father, we know that you heal all. Father, we're here now praising and worship your name because, Father, we know that you can take care of everything that we're dealing with, Father. Father, I pray for the sick, the shut-in. Father, I pray for those that are mentally disturbed right now, Father. Father, I pray for those that are depressed, Father. I pray for those that are hopeless, Father. Father, I pray that you would touch them right where they are in their homes right now, Father. Father, I pray for those that don't understand what's going on and that they would at least lean to you for understanding, Father. Father, no man knows his time or place, but Father, we know that you are our kingdom, Father. And Father, we know that we have to believe and trust in your word, and if we do that, we'll make it through on the other side, Father. Father, I just continue to pray for this church, this congregation, our pastor, Father, all our auxiliary clubs, Father, thank you for just allowing us to be able to stream this service out to the people, Father. Father, we know that no matter what goes on and no matter what happens, Father, you have us covered in the blood. And Father, I just continue to pray that the souls of the saints will continue to trust and obey your word. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. time where prayer and praise 
should be in the top of our hearts and uh, in our minds and on our lips. To that fact, uh, go with me to Psalms 150 and you'll find our scripture reading for this morning. The scripture read as follows. Praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty ferment. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the lute and the harp. Praise him with the timbo and the dance. Praise him with stringed instruments and flutes. Praise him with loud cymbals. Praise him with clashing cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Now the deacon said, if you woke up this morning, that refers to you. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. This is the season that we should praise the Lord. Amen. May God add a, a blessing to the hearers, the doers of his mighty and holy word. Amen. Good morning, church. We greet you in the name of Jesus Christ. It's now it's time for us to worship God in our giving. You can give easily and securely. Go to www.pumbchurch.org. Text PUBC to 73256, or you can mail it. We encourage all those who are streaming with us online to continue to be faithful in your stewardship to the church. Ministry still going on. Uh, seems like every couple of days the Benevolence Ministry is sending out an email to, for us to inform others that might be uh, experiencing challenging times to uh, contact the church so that the church can minister to them. So in order for the church to continue to be able to minister to people, uh, we have to continue to be faithful in our stewardship. So please, uh, those who are streaming with us, continue to be faithful. God loves a cheerful giver. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the opportunity to worship you in giving, God. We don't take it for granted. We pray, God, in the name of Jesus, for those here, those who are streaming online, God, that will give, that you will bless their giving, God, today. And we pray, God, for those who have financial challenges that, not, uh, that are not able to give this morning, God, that you would bless them, God, that they will be able to give in the future. Bless uh, our stewardship, God. We thank you, God, for the opportunity to worship you and give it. In Jesus' name, amen. behind me defender behind me I won't fear I won't fear I'm filled with anointing I'm filled with anointing my cup's running over 
My cup's running over. No weapon can harm me. No weapon can harm me. I won't fear. I won't fear. Sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am not alone. He is my cup. His joy is refreshing, restores my soul, restores my soul. Mercy and goodness, mercy and goodness, and assurance, give me assurance. Ah! Uh -huh. 
walk in your peace. Your spirit lives within me. My victory, my victory. Your spirit lives within me. So I will walk in your peace. Your spirit lives within me. My victory, my victory, my victory, my victory, my victory, my victory, my victory. My big, my big tree, 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 my big, my Think about how good God is. is As we minister before him in worship this morning. Father, we thank you for another expression of your, your goodness. You watched over us all last night as we slumbered and slept. You kept us from any hurt, harm, and danger. You stationed your God and angels around about us. Allowed us to fall into a deep sleep. Not knowing that we was in this world. And then this morning you touched us. Eyes came open and realized, Lord, that it's because of your great compassion we was not consumed. You gave us new grace for this day. And for that we give you praise. We come now, Lord, and to have your way uh, speak to us Lord we need to hear from you we thank you and we forever will give you praise for it's in the blessed name of your son Jesus to Christ we pray amen amen uh, we are so grateful uh, for this moment uh, realizing it didn't have to be uh, but God in his great mercy allowed us to as the old saint would say golden moments to roll on just a little while longer just a couple things we want to share with us today and I'm um, we want you to uh, keep in prayer 
uh, those that are in bereavement, um, Sister Flora Gilstrap, our church secretary, uh, father passed on yesterday. Uh, keep her in prayer. And Brother Will Willie Turner uh, had an aunt pass on yesterday. So let's keep them and all uh, who are uh, in, in, in this season of bereavement in your prayers uh, this, this morning. And also, uh, we have First Sunday coming up, and that's our Communion Sunday. And uh, we'll do the same thing uh, this week coming up, and we did uh, preceding the last First Sunday. Uh, we'll be here uh, at the sanctuary, and we'll come through the uh, uh, back under the, uh, under the awning out there. Uh, we'll be here from Wednesday from 2 to 5, Thursday from 2 to 6.30. That's, what, that's to make sure we catch those who work and can't get here before 5. And then Friday, we'll be here from 2 to 5. Uh, we are asking that you would uh, come by and pick up the communion, and we will commune as we did on last first Sunday. And if you're unable to come, uh, please call the church office at 256-534-8266. Uh, then we will bring it, uh, make sure we get it to you. So if you'll do that. Uh, and also during this service, and we have our altar prayer uh, at the end. Uh, if you are in need of prayer, uh, we ask you to call 256-539-1070. Uh, we have someone there to, uh, to answer your call. And also if you need someone to pray with you, to talk with you, uh, you can call that number. 256-539-1070. Uh, there will be someone there to speak with you. I want to take a few minutes, uh, if I could, and I want to lift up uh, Old Testament and a New Testament passage of Scripture. Uh, Old Testament will come from Exodus, the 32nd chapter, verses 1 through 6, and I'll be reading from the New King James Version. Exodus. The 37, 32nd chapter, chapter 32, verse 1 through 6. From the New King James Version, you will find these words. Now when the people saw that Moses delayed coming down from the mountain, the people gathered together to Aaron and said to him, Come, make us gods that shall go before us. For as for this Moses, the man who brought us up out of the land of Egypt, we do not know what has become of him. And Aaron said to them, Break off the golden earrings which are in the ears of your wives, your sons, and your daughters, and bring them to me. So all the people broke off the golden earrings which was in their ears and brought them to Aaron. And he received the gold from their, their hand, and he fashioned it with an engraving tool and made a molding calf. Then they said, This is your God, O Israel, that brought you out of the land of Egypt. So when Aaron saw it, he built an altar before it. And Aaron made a proclamation and said, Tomorrow is a feast to the Lord. Then they rose early on the next day, offered burnt offering, and brought peace offering. And the people sat down to eat and drink and rose up to play. Revelation, the second chapter, verses four through five. Revelation, the second chapter, verses four through five. Nevertheless, I have this against you, that you have left your first love. Remember, therefore, from where you have fallen, repent and do the first work, or else I will come to you quickly and remove your lampstand from its place unless you repent. I just want to talk uh, for a few minutes I, uh, what the Lord would have us uh, to understand in this, in this season that we are going through, in, in the midst of, of uncertainty, uh, when, when we don't know who to believe, when there are voices everywhere, uh, the word of the Lord to the people of God is to hold on. All right. 
uh, you hold on. I, uh, you know, there's a there's a danger of of, of spiritually backsliding uh, when you find yourself in certain situations. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can you 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 can you can easily if you don't if you don't uh, fixate your mind on Him who brought you. Uh, you can easily uh, place your feet on shifting sand and, and easily be deceived and drawn into something that will not sustain you. Uh, the word of the Lord today is to hold on. Uh, you know, in this, in this season of the coronavirus, uh, when we are socially distancing from one another, uh, uh, what, what normally... Uh, we would come together and fellowship with one another. We would, we would talk about our good times and our bad times. We would strengthen each other. But right now, because we are distant, we, 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 we find that, that, that we feel that we are all alone. And, and when we, we get to that point, what we are, what we are start doing is we start listening to other folks and begin to make other arrangements to do what we feel will get us through these things. Uh, but the word of the Lord is simply is to hold on. Uh, you see, when Israel came out of Egypt and they got to the Red Sea and they began to complain, uh, you know, God, well, message to them was simply to be still. See, see, a lot of times we be looking for profound words from the Lord and, 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 and God and just want to let us know that he's still in control of this thing. And he just want us to hold on. Now, hold on, hold on. I, I just want to, just want to say something here. We, we, we are in a new norm and, 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 and all of the, the experts, those who deal with churches and, and spiritual things, uh, say that when we come back off of this coronavirus, that church will not be the same. Yeah, we're going to be different, you know, and, 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 and we must prepare ourselves for that. And sometimes, my brothers and sisters, uh, you may feel that God has abandoned you, but, but God is preparing us for the next step. You, you see, you see, they brought, brought Israel out of Egypt, and, and, and God was going to make Egypt, Israel a great nation. And, and in order to do that, there were some things that had to happen in their lives. And, and he, in verse 19, he called Moses to come up on Mount Sinai. And he began to lay out to Moses how this people would be, how this new nation would would. would Act how they would, would present themselves as he bring them before the ungodly nation as his call out people. Yeah, yeah. And he began to, to talk to Moses. And from the 19th chapter to the 32nd chapter, Moses was up on the mountain. And, and the people got restless. Yeah, yeah. And I, I want to let you know today, my brothers and sisters, our, our people are getting restless. You know, they, 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 they heard them say, if you would just go and isolate yourself for 14 days, everything ain't going to be all right. But some three, four weeks later, uh, they're talking about months, even years. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 and we, uh, as believers who have prayed to God and we look for a movement of God to happen in a way that only he could do it. But he didn't show up and... And, and sometimes we get restless. All right. Yeah, this is not the first time uh, that, you know, 400 years from, from the Old Testament to the New, there was nothing heard from God. But I want to let you know that God was still working. Right. Yeah, he was preparing his son, and we know that because the New Testament it tells us when the fullness of time had come. Y'all yeah, hear me? And, 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 and if we are not careful, my brothers and sisters, because we put in our mind what we believe that should happen during this moment, we need to put that on the back burner and try to find out what God is doing. Yeah, there's a word to the preacher, you know, and they, and they, and they tell us, say, say, in this new norm, in this, in this social media, uh, you got to be careful, see, because a lot of people determine their worth by how many hits they get. 
how many followers that they have. Uh, yeah, 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 but they tell us that don't, don't run to Facebook and look at that. See, because there's a danger that you will begin to focus on people you don't know and forget those that you do know. See, we don't want to get caught up uh, in social media. We don't want to get caught up that we don't minister to those that we, we saw before this pandemic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and so the word to the preacher and the word to, to the church is for us to hold on uh, while he is doing what he does best. Yeah, yeah, we, we, want, to, we want to hold on. And uh, three things I want to, want to point out to us, and, and then I'm going I'm to be through here. For, 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 for one, don't forget the presence of God. I, I don't care whether he's speaking now or whether he's not speaking. But he's still with us. How do I know he's still with us? Because I got his word. He said, I will never leave you, nor would I forsake you. Uh, yeah, yeah. He, 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 he said, wherever you go, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be with you. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, he said that, that, that he will not forsake us. He, his presence uh, is, is always here. Look what they, look what they, they forgot. They said in verse 1a, he said, now when the people saw that Moses delayed coming down from the mountain. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they forgot that God was there. You, you go back to the 19th chapter, and you, you'll see where, where God uh, told Moses, said, come up here, Moses, I'm going to give you some instruction. And said that, that, that a cloud came down, and there was thunder and fire in the mountain. That represented the presence of God. And the people acknowledged that. That it was God, and, and, and God told Moses, tell the people, set some boundaries. Don't come near this mountain because this is a holy place. And he says that don't even let the animals come near because they're going to they're gonna, 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 gonna 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 die by fire or by arrow. And, and Moses told them, and he, and he came and he said that, Lord, I told them. And then God said, you go back down and tell them again. Moses said, look, look, Lord, I, I told them they, I set the boundaries in every time, but, but don't you, you know, you know God knows us better? You know, he, he said, you go back down there, you go look at the 19th verse, don't take my word for it, you go back down there, you tell them again, don't come near this mountain called this holy ground. And I want to say this, my brothers and sisters, this, this is holy ground, and only the holy peoples of God can stand on it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and, and I want to let you know, my brothers and sisters, that God has set some boundaries uh, for us, amen, during this period of time that we're going through, and we should not violate those boundaries. Yeah, yeah, we shouldn't seek out the other God. You know, more people are talking about what they say on TV than what God's saying in his word. They believe more about what the government say. You know, they said, go in and shut up for two weeks. We go in and shut up for two weeks. Two weeks later, nothing happened. They said, go about your business. Nothing changed. Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't be confused. Don't be, don't be misled during this period of time. I want you to know that God is still with you. You know, they'll laugh at us. You know, laugh. And like I said last Sunday, I'm not ashamed of the gospel because there's power in the gospel. Uh, there's no power in government. There's no power in man. Matter of fact, the writer in the psalm they say, some people trust in horses and chariots, but I, I do not going to trust in that. I'm going to trust in the living God. Yeah, yeah, I know, I, I know he's with me. And, and, and sometimes it's a blessing when God doesn't speak. Yeah, yeah, sometimes you, you, you ought to be glad that God has taken his voice and put it behind grace and mercy. Rather than speak out against what we are doing, doing now. But don't ever forget that God is still with us. I don't care what, what people will say. They laugh and say God is not able to handle this coronavirus. They look at church people who stand on the word of God who are dying from coronavirus and they're laughing at us because we're saying that we're under the blood of Jesus Christ. They're laughing at us. But I want to let you know that God has never left us. You see, you and I know that what we see here is temporal. Yeah, yeah, this earth going to pass away. 
But we know that there's another place that the people of God would assemble themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he is with us, my brothers and sisters. Don't, don't be like them at that mountain who thought that Moses was going away and they had put their eyes and their mind on Moses rather than on the God of Moses. Yeah, 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 yeah. God is still with us during this pandemic. He was with us before we went into it. Do you realize when they say uh, COVID-19, that this thing happened in 19? They are talking about death back in 19? Don't you know that you have walked by people who had the coronavirus? Don't you know you have stood right face to face with them? Don't you know you didn't hug them around their neck? And the only reason you're still here right now is because God is with us. Yeah, don't forget that God is with us. Don't forget the presence of God. Uh, secondly, my brothers and sisters, don't forget the power of God. Yeah, God is still able. He's omniscient, omnipresent. I, I want to let you know that he's still there. He's, he's powerful. Look what they said in 32b. He said, for as for this Moses, the man who brought us up out of the land of Egypt. They acknowledge uh, that Moses went down and, and, and out of the power that God has given him, out of the plagues and everything, caused Pharaoh to let his people go, caused them to be drowned in the Red Sea. They understand, understood that it was the power of God that had brought them up out of Egypt. Yeah, yeah, if you don't believe it, you go back and you read verse 19, they, they acknowledge the fact that it was God that brought them out and they acknowledge the fact that they were going to serve God. They acknowledge the fact that it was God and God alone that brought them up out of there. Yeah, yeah, and it was only because of the power of God. It wasn't anything that they could do. And I want to let you know, my brothers and sisters, we're going to make it through this pandemic. We're going to make it through this season because of the power of God. Yeah, yeah. God has a way of, 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 of showing himself strong. He just, he just have a way when, 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 when it appears that, that everything is against us, when it appears that, that we are on the losing end, he has a way of showing up. Turning stuff upside down. Yeah, don't forget the power of God. And I, I, I got, got here, and I, I, had a, I had a shouting moment there, and I, I just want to linger here for a hot minute uh, right quick here, and I want to talk about Aaron. And a lot of time, Aaron, you know, people talk about Aaron. Aaron was deceived by the people. He, he, he made a golden calf. See, Aaron was the miller child, you know, Moses the baby, and Miriam was the oldest, and, and Aaron was... was was impressionable. He, he uh, yeah, he'll do whatever people wanted him, wanted him to do. You know, he, he, he was there in Exodus 32 and 22. You see it here. Uh, he one made the golden calf and made a proclamation that the people would worship him. He confided against Moses and his sister Miriam in Numbers 12, 1. You know, he, and, and in Leviticus 10, 1 through 3, his, his children got struck down because they offered strange fire. Uh, to the Lord, yet, yet in spite of Aaron's shortcoming. He was recorded in the Bible as being the foreshadow of the priesthood of, of Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he died and was given a month of national mourning. And I, and I had one of them, them thank you moments, not because I woke up this morning, not because I had food to eat, not because I had clothing to wear, but I had a hallelujah shouting John, hold my mule moment because in spite of everything that God knew about me, he still kept me. Yeah, yeah, he knew everything about, about Aaron, yet he, he used Aaron. And, and one writer said this, he said, it was such was the dignity and usefulness to which the Lord raised this weak, vacillating, inadequate man, admirable with the attractiveness of that quality and with all of his fault. Truly God is not dependent on our power but rather lift us up by grace above our failings. Aren't you, aren't you glad that you can have a testimony of Paul that in my weakness, yes, sir. Yes, sir. yeah, yeah, I thank God 
Yeah, he saw every evil low down thing I was going to do. He knew every lie I was going to tell, every sin I was going to commit, every deception. He knew it from the beginning. Yet, anybody got a yet in your life? Anybody can look back? Yeah, that's a, that's a shouting moment there. You may, you may feel that you've been taking one step forward and three back, but I want to let you know that your ending is better than your beginning. I'm so glad that God doesn't concentrate on our beginning, but where he's bringing us to. And this is what he was doing with Israel, bringing them out of Egypt to the promised land, bringing them to a better place. And I just want to say that, my brothers and sisters, even right now, we're going to be better on the other side of this pandemic. Than we, if you thought we were something before, y'all to hide and watch. I, 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 I want to let you know, my brothers and sisters, uh, don't forget the power of God. It ain't about me. It ain't about you. But it's about the grace that God gives us to do what he called us to do. And this grace transcends every sin yeah, uh, that we, we commit because of uh, his son. And I, I just want to say that, my brothers and sisters, during this pandemic, I, I don't care how many uh, numbers that they put up about how many new cases. I don't care uh, how many uh, st static statistics are put up about the number of people that are dying, but we have a God that is able to supersede death. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Don't forget about the power. Yeah. And, and finally, my brothers and sisters, don't forget about the provision of God. Uh, we'll find that in Revelation 4. Uh, look, look what he said. he said. He said this, I have this against you that you have left your first love. Uh, I thought about uh, that in seeing that it, it talking about the same as being uh, married and uh, the affection and love that you have for your spouse. I had to confess as I read this uh, that long time ago when I first was introduced to Jesus, I didn't fall in love, I fell in lust. Uh, see, that was... That's what happened to a lot of us, my brothers and sisters. That's why it's easy to, to turn away because you fall in lust rather than in love. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I lust after. I wanted him to do stuff for me. You know, I, I wanted him to satisfy a craving that, 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 that this world could not satisfy. I tried to seek it in this world, and, I, 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 and that's what happened to a lot of people. We, we want Jesus. We want Jesus as to be our banker. We want him to put bunches of money in our bank account. We want Jesus to be our personal physician. Anything happened to us, we want to be healed right away. Rather than understanding it, like Paul said, that he gave me a thorn so that I would not be lifted up above measure. Yes, yes, Sometimes God lets stuff happen to us so we don't get the big head. Yeah, yeah. We want, we want, we want him to be our, our friend. And the only reason we want to be our friend is because we want him to get at somebody we don't like. Yeah, yeah, sometimes we fall in lust with him, but, but he's, he, yeah, yeah, but if you ever fall in love, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I, I hear the, the song that falling in love with Jesus is the best thing that ever happened to me. Yeah, yeah, when I truly fell in love with him, I found out that he met every need that I had. There was nothing in this life that I needed that he couldn't meet it. When I was lonely, he was a friend. Yes, yeah, stuck closer than a brother. When I was hungry, he fed me. When, when I was down and out, he made sure that he was there to pick me up. I want to let you know that he provided for me. Yeah, yeah, I may not have had the luxury of life, may not have had everything in life that I wanted, but I know that God gave me what I needed. Yeah, yeah, don't you forget the provision of God. The Ephesus church, they forgot about God's provision. God had been good to them, and then they let themselves slip because the Lord delayed his coming. You find that in Peter, Peter, 2 Peter, the people said that the Lord, is, what happened? He's not coming. Everything is going the same as it always has been going. And Peter had to let him know, don't you, don't get the thing twisted. Because God don't want anybody to perish. It's, 
He, he's working with us now. Trying to bring us to a point of salvation. And we got to let the world know that they may be looking for stuff. You may not have a, a, a job right now. But I, I, that you may say that a lot of companies is not coming back. But I want to let you know that the God that we serve can provide you in, with such that you can start your own business. Uh, you don't believe it. You, you, just, you just look at the people that are selling masks. Because of the need, uh, yeah, yeah, there's a way that God will provide for you if you get outside the box. Yeah, yeah, his provision. And, and he said to this church in Ephesus, don't you, don't you forget your first love. Don't you forget that when you was in sin, yes, that love manifests itself. Yes, uh, in such a way, do not forget what true love was all about. Because... Uh, uh, you didn't love me first, but I first loved you. Don't you forget that when you turned your back on me, I made sure that you had everything that you need. When the enemy tried to trip you up, I was your defender. When the enemy tried to turn you all uh, along the way, I was there to guide you on the right path. When the enemy tried to take your life, I was there to make whatever he brought null and void. Don't you forget that. And this is what I'm saying to you, my brothers and sisters, on this day. Don't you forget your first love. Don't you forget how good God been to you. I don't care what happened, my brothers and sisters. God has been good to me. Yeah, I'm not talking about on provisional things. I'm not talking about on material things. But I'm telling you, he's been spiritually good to me. God have kept this old soul from dying. Yeah, yeah, and he's going to keep it until the end. How do I know? Because his love was manifest on Calvary Cross. It said that while I was yet a sinner, Christ died for me. While I was uh, lost in this world, I was the enemy of God. God was a friend of mine. Yeah, and he died that I may live. And I want to let you know today, my brothers and sisters, it doesn't make any difference what this coronavirus does. It only has limited power. But God has all power. Heaven and earth is in his hand. And I tell you what, if you hear about my home going, don't worry about me. Yeah, yeah, don't worry about me. Don't say he dead, he just going to sleep. Because they're going to be able to get in the morning. Some glad morning. When it, it, this life is going to be over, it's not going to keep like it's going. Some glad morning. When this life is over, fly away. Son, I'm going to fly away. When I fly away, I'm going to be at rest. Anybody here know what I'm talking about? Yeah, you may be here and you may, you may want to, to know about this love. We offer you Christ. Yeah, you can call 2565391070. And we'll share with you about the love of God. We'll talk to you about uh, God's presence. He'll never leave you, will, nor will he forsake you. We'll talk about his power. He got keeping power. He got staying power. And we'll talk about his provision. So you can call 539-1070-256. If you're here you want to give your life to Christ, you can do that. As the Bible says this. It says that if you would believe in your heart and confess Christ Jesus you can be saved prayer time church for those who are streaming with us I want to bring to your attention that uh, receive a note that uh, Marvin Booker's father is in the hospital uh, 
Lord dealing with the coronavirus. Church, we want to be prayerful for him and others that have been diagnosed with this German illness. But I still believe in the power of prayer. Let us pray. Dear God, we come before you. Thank you for this, what our eyes have seen, what our ears have heard. We thank you, God, for your presence in our lives. We thank you, God, for the power that's in our lives. We thank you, God, for your provisions, God. The gospel has been preached, God, and we ask that you would seal the word in our spirit and that our spirit inform our mind. We come before you, God, lifting up this church family, God. We pray in the name of Jesus, God, that you would cover Progressive Union Missionary Baptist Church. We pray in the name of Jesus that you would cover every church, God. Those that are dealing with the coronavirus, God, we pray for healing, God. Your word says that with your strife they are healed. We stand on your word, says God, that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. We stand on your word, God, that uh, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us, God. We stand on your word, God, that you have not given us the spirit of fear, but power, love, and of a sound mind. We stand on your word, God, that we take every thought captive and bring it under the obedience of Christ, God. So in the name of Jesus, God, I ask that you would lift up bow down heads this morning, God. I pray in the name of Jesus that you would comfort, God, those that are lonely. I pray that you would strengthen those that are weak this morning, God. We decree and we declare, God, that we're the head, not the tail, God. We're above and not below, God. We decree and we declare, God, that we're going to praise you anyhow, God. So I pray in the name of Jesus, God, that those that are lonely, God, you be their comfort, God. I pray in the name of Jesus that those that are sick, God, that you will be a healer, God. That those that are in the hospital, God, that you will go Go visit them this morning, God. I pray in the name of Jesus, God, that those that need a blessing, God, you will supply every need this morning, God. We decree and we declare, God, that we love you and we trust you anyhow. Your word declares that we trust you and lean not to our own understanding, but in all our ways we will acknowledge you. So, God, in the name of Jesus, we ask, God, that you will bless, God, that those that are homeless today, God, we pray in the name of Jesus that those that are being uh, abused, God, we pray in the name of Jesus those that are abused in modern-day slavery, God, we pray in the name of Jesus that you will give our local and national leaders wisdom knowledge and understanding God we pray in the name of Jesus God that you would help us to be a light in this dark world we pray in the name of Jesus God that we'll brag on you God anyhow we pray in the name of Jesus God that we'll lift you up anyhow God so God lift up those that are depressed this morning we decree and we declare God in the name of Jesus that every germ and every virus that touches our body die in the name of Jesus God we pray God that you would have your way God to the people of God and we just ask you God to keep ahead your protection around us, God. Uh, as we go forth, God, continue, God, to dwell with us, God, and we'll be mindful to give you the glory, we'll give you the honor, and we'll give you the praise, God, because your credit is good with us, and we thank you, God. It's in Christ's name I pray. Amen. Amen. And uh, just very, uh, very quickly, amen. Uh, our uh, pastoral care team uh, is working hard to contact, contact the membership to uh, check on you and see how you're doing. And uh, we've sent out an email. If you haven't uh, received uh, uh, contact from someone by the 30th of April, please call the church office because we, uh, the information that we have is, is, is wrong. So uh, we ask that you do that. And remember to come by next week and pick up the communion cup. Uh, let us pray. Father, we thank you uh, that you, uh, you know, you're God and you're God all by yourself. And that's all we can, we can hope in, Lord, that even in the midst of everything that's going on right now, Lord, you are, you're in charge. And, and it's going to be for our good because you're working it. And you're working it, Lord. And, and, Lord, we pray that as we leave this sacred space, Lord, that, that uh we will continue to share this gospel, this good news uh, about the risen Savior, the one who died to take away the sins of the world. Now may the grace of God and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit rest, rule, and abide now and forevermore. Let us all say amen. Amen. Oh.